Welcome back to the channel guys We're today at the Britannia Hotel where there's your migrants coming out already they're living here yeah I'm watching you Mr. Pee -pee. <laughs> so yeah the migrants that are living here they're still here so we'll go and have a look shall we How are you doing guys? You alright Maddy? Hi lads, you alright? Yeah, not too bad. How are you Not too bad. You migrants, yeah. I do a YouTube channel. Um, and what I'm doing is going around to all the migrant hotels yes, trying to find stories out of how you got here yes, and that uh, so if you don't mind me asking how long have you been here? Two and a half, three years Two and a half years? Yes, sir. And they've still not processed you through the immigration? I'm just waiting for uh, uh, What is this name for the some document the, for interview yeah yeah you just waiting for interview it's ridiculous isn't it how long they're making you wait two years right now I'm, uh, I'm, I'm already two years waiting and my friend is one half year waiting for the interview what country are you from i'm from iran so I'm from iran, sir. iran yes sir you you ran oh, yeah yeah so, how did you get here? Did you come across on boat or lorries or how did you oh, get yeah. to England? Oh, yeah, um, we come in boat, big, big boat. Big boat? Yeah, A yeah. big boat? Some big. Uh, 15 persons inside there. How many? 15, five zero. Five zero people in a boat? Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. You know, some children, some women, some old women, some old men, you know. So, what we're we're struggling to um, <clears throat> what we're struggling with in the UK is that um, you have come here, uh -huh. right, um, to get a better life. Yeah. But what we're seeing and what I'm seeing yeah. in all these hotels is only young men. So where are the old men gone to, and the women and children? Yeah, I understand exactly what you said. Uh, some people, is it to be old, can't come out, stay in, you know. And what, in the hotel? Yes. Yeah. And then uh, another, my people, is to be old, and then can't uh, remove, you know. Uh, for example, in the 100%, 18, 19%, old women, old men, I stay in there and then we just young people going out. So, do you find that the older people are getting housed before the younger? Yeah. Yeah, so they try and find houses for the older people before yourselves. Yes. That's why there's so many young people in the hotels. Yes, yeah, exactly. Right, right. And then I'm asked about the two immigration and then say to me, too many people inside the this year coming to UK for the refugee. And then you just need a wait. So busy immigration, you just need a wait. They can't cope. They can't cope. And then but the problem is, um, it's costing us the taxpayer yes. one hundred and fifty pound yes. per person per night to stay in a hotel. Government pay, yeah. Yeah. Well, we out of our earnings, yeah, you know, the the money that we pay the, the government, tax. then they they pay these hotels. Yeah, I understand. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry, my sorry. Business. <laughs> so, yeah, so, um, let's just go over here. Yes. She, she can't say it then, can she? Um, what is this your job? You're working for <coughs> parking? 
Uh, no, no, no. I I go around to all these places. I do YouTube documentations yes. on, you know, yeah. uh, how you get here, why you get here, why is it taking the government so long to yeah. find out what's happening with you, yeah. why is it costing us so much money uh, since the war in uh, with Russia and yeah. Ukraine. Yeah, for the war. Yeah. Um, I so. I'm supported. To yeah. Goodness. So um, now. Um, electric prices and gas prices have yeah, gone so high yeah, we can't afford it so high, yeah. food prices have gone up everything but we're paying 6.9 million pound a day yeah. to house you in hotels just for the day just per day 6.9 million yeah, 6 million two years just one day and then, to be honest, sir, to be honest, I'm not racist. I'm not never ever racist inside of my life. Just, is it make a question? Sorry about language, English, my language. No, I can language. understand you perfect. Thank you. I just have got make a question inside of my head every single time. When people from England inside the UK can't pay, for example, for energy, for everything, and then why government supported refugee exactly and also if his government good first time needed supported people yeah him people uh, people from the uk so what and we're having problem with with refugees. all this is that our veterans so our ex-military people yeah. are having to sleep in the streets exactly. our homeless yeah. are having to sleep in the streets yeah, yeah, exactly. the government have kicked people out of hotels that were housing homeless Why? to put you in so this is why people get so fed up and frustrated with it and you say, you are right, Doc? Yeah, I'm just waiting for somebody to come out. All right. So it, it, uh, it frustrates us that, um, you know, we can't afford to pay our bills and our old people can't afford to heat their house. Exactly. They can't afford exactly. to eat and they're dying. Yeah, I know. And I so it's nothing... You will get some people that are against you, uh -huh. um, but you need to find the bigger picture out and why. We, I blame personally the government. Yeah. So you've been here for two and a half years, do you say? Yes. Why haven't they dealt with you before? Yeah. You know, why haven't they dealt with you before? So uh, you've got security in the hotel. They're called Serco, yeah. right? And the, the company that run them are the biggest uh, company in the UK that do government contracts and do all this. And the sites that I go to where you can't get to speak to people, I can. Yeah. I can get in. I mean, where is it? Yeah. You, you, you look at that, you know. I uh, so I can get in, I take a drone up and take a drone around and have a look around. There's not one place I haven't been able to get into yet. Yeah. But I do more interviews to try and find out what are the root problems are and how we can force our government yeah. to, um, to sorry, uh, force our government to um, do something about it and change it, you know, yeah. and make it easier for you. I mean, you've been here for two and a half years um, I believe yes. that the government should find you jobs to support yourself if they're going to keep you here. Uh, and because two and a half years, you're just wasting your life. Exactly. To, to be honest, too many times when I'm going to job centre, just I'm said, my language is all right. I can't work in. Can you some find a job for me? I don't need a benefit. And then just say to me, no, you need to go. They're not allowed. Not now, you need to go college. I just said, when I'm working, when I can make a money good for myself, why I need to wait in three, 13 days, one month for the just 300 benefit? Yeah. I don't need that benefit. I want to work in and then just say, so me, no, you need to do you get work. benefits? Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you came here, what did the government give you? Did they give you clothing? Uh, mobile phones, they gave you everything. For everything, yeah, 300 pounds in the month. How much? 300 pounds. 300 pounds they give you a month. In the two, three days down. 
And then my friends say to me, just give it that eight pounds for the week. So what? <laughs> it's shit. To be honest, it's mad. I really don't know what is this thinking government about it. Just crazy. Absolutely crazy. crazy. Absolutely crazy. <clears throat> but you see, when we go to places like this, uh -huh. the security come out and try and stop us from talking to you. Mm -hmm. exactly. But the people need to know. Because, because if the people understand. know we can force the government into doing something about it you know and it's absolutely ridiculous it's crazy you know absolutely crazy nice to see you sir and you have a nice day yeah you look after yourself thank you you too see you again you all right thank you i'll go and see what they have to say when i go there <laughs> you you're welcome you you're welcome mate thank look you. after yourself thank you. So I'm here at the Britannia Hotel. We've got a security guard here. Sat on his backside. Playing with his phone.